like, that's sweet, like, we're gonna get married and stuff. But after I have the baby, I guess. And so they had to leave. Um, and then someone else was pregnant. And... Um, Elizabeth. Okay, this is probably not exactly in the right order. But, <laughs> but it's going well. Anyway, so they were living somewhere else and then something about like a census but that was probably not quite yet and then they were she was gonna give birth real soon here and they were in Bethlehem <laughs> because I don't know why they were the there census. yeah cuz mm -hmm. that's what I said so they were in Bethlehem <laughs> and they all the ends were full Can because you say of Bethlehem again? Bethlehem oh. all the ends were full because of the census so, so people were coming back so they could count everyone and so there's like obviously no room and they couldn't stay with their family members because their family was probably kind of ashamed of her for like being pregnant because they didn't understand. And so they found a little barn thing and she had a baby and they called him Jesus because that's what they were told to call him. And then uh, the wise men and other people came and visited later on and they followed the star, and we're not really sure what the star was, but it's just a miracle from Jesus, from God, and they followed it, and they gave him presents because he was their king, and King Herod never found him, and then we had Jesus, and then he grew up, and he never was naughty, which is good, because we're naughty, and eventually he died on the cross for us, and then we were saved because of that, because we're naughty. And that's the story of Jesus. Best Christmas story ever. This is the best Christmas story ever. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. You can stop filming me if you are. I was thinking about it. <laughs> that's the best I could do. I Wait, tried good. to be realistic. Yeah. Am I reading the real thing? Yeah, <laughs> go for it. See, can see compare. Okay. Well, Mickey's is kind of like lost, you know, it's out of order and flashbacks and what have you. <laughs> Should we become a movie director? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, listen, you who have ears, let him hear. We all have ears. Really? No, but he got a close up of Jonah. What about the artist who cut off his ear? What's his name? The... Mango. Mango. Magic. Mango. Mango's my husband. Okay, do you want to read the story? Yeah, he's waiting for you. Can... <coughs> okay. Okay. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings. You who are highly favored, the Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked. The angel said, oh, No, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible with God. Amen. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. It may it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken. So everyone went to his own town to register. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he, longed to the, he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, a time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in an inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, 
and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in claws and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to the God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all of these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which they were just as they had been told. Amen. 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 <laughs> Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Do you? Oh, Jesus. I'm going to put the music on.